what are what are the steps for that person who's on the cusp of asking for help or saying out loud mm -hmm. maybe there's something deeper going on here and i need a hand what are the next steps for them um well i think for everyone it's different uh, you know it's uh, if you have someone that can listen to you that can advocate for you whether it's a friend a parent uh, a spouse your doctor whatever um that's 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 the first thing then it, it it is finding out what is available in your own area every region is different what they have available for a community service right mm -hmm. so um, usually um, you can be linked through like somewhere like Canadian Mental Health Association they usually will have a, a branch or, or a satellite office in a, many communities um, but also your doctor's office, um, the hospital. I mean, you don't have to be going in there to go to eMERGE, right? But you can often get information through there. Mm -hmm. um, another thing too, for those who participate in, in going to church or whatever, a lot of times the ministers will have that information also. Um, just make a phone call. Any phone, just make a phone call um, and usually that will start the process rolling. It's that first call. It's that first call that it just breaks the ice because it's all up here. You're imagining uh, where is this going to go? What's going to happen to me, my life, my family? Um, once that first call is made, usually it's a huge relief for people, you know? I, and I hear that when I have clients come in to see me whether they've self-referred or been referred by a physician or a hospital. Um, you know, they're, it's all kind of built up inside them and then once they're talking about it, just on a one-to-one -one level, it's like, okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, you mm -hmm. know.